Namaste. Welcome to sesrekhaskitchen.com. Today I am going to show you how to make brown rice in different methods. So you can use whichever method is convenient for you. One of my viewers, VJ0509, requested this recipe. First, the easiest method is electric rice cooker method. This is the easiest one. So, I have taken one cup of rice. In this rice cooker method, we need two and a half cups of water for one cup of rice. So, I took two and a half cups of water and uh, it has been soaking in the water for about 30 minutes okay whichever cup you are using you can measure the water with the same cup okay i'm going to put it in the rice cooker and uh, now it is in the warm mode i'm going to turn it on and cover it and uh, i'll let it cook we'll see how it comes out okay now my cooker came to the warm mode so it is done let me check how it is okay see this looks fluffy it is cooked well i used two and a half cups of water for one cup of rice in this one you may even use three cups of water if you want a little soft but two and a half cups for one cup of rice is the usual amount of water if you want a fluffy rice this will be a good option so it took about 45 minutes to one hour so the next method is this aroma rice cooker or the steamer it is exactly the same as the electric rice cooker for one cup of rice take two and a half cups of water and put it on brown rice mode so it has white rice and brown rice mode so use the brown rice mode and this also takes a little longer but the rice comes out really good with this okay this is also a very convenient method and you can set the timer also for this if you want it for the later time you can set the time the next method is pressure cooker method I took the same rice, whole grain basmati brown rice. So I took one cup, I rinsed it twice again and added two cups of water. See in the pressure cooker, it takes less water. So if you put more water, you know it gets very mushy. So for one cup of rice, I took two cups of water. And then okay, took some water in the pressure cooker. And then putting the, I am going to cover it and now we will go ahead and put the weight in this. Now this is American cooker. In Indian cookers make the whistle like sound but the American cookers does not give any whistle sound. So we just have to go by the time. So every pressure cooker is different so you have to go by the manufacturer's instructions and you have to experiment also i'm going to keep it in the high medium it is in between high and medium that will be high medium and cook for 15 minutes after 15 minutes i'm going to put it in the low flame the very low flame for about 10 minutes and then turn it off okay then we will see how it goes okay here my pressure cooker has been on and medium high flame for about 15 minutes now i'm going to bring it down to low flame okay and keep it for 10 minutes it has then, been on low flame for 10 minutes so now i'm going to turn it off I will let the pressure come down and then I will open it. The pressure came down. So I am going to open the pressure cooker now. Just take this out. Okay, now you 
can see this is sticking it's not fluffy okay it is sticking so if you are looking for a fluffy rice do not use this method do not use the pressure cooker method but if you want a mushy rice this will be the best method when you cook in the pressure cooker it comes out little sticky now the next method is stove top method again for the stove top method also we need 2 and 1/2 cups of water so i have taken 1 cup of rice again and let me show you how to wash it when you are washing okay don't crush the rice like that gently rinse it like this and then drain this water okay i drained the water and took some more water again i'm going to give a second rinse okay do it very gently if you do do it really hard if you crush it you will be removing the outer layer so which we don't want to that and now i'm going to drain this water again so i took 2 and 1/2 cups of water and i'm going to put the rice in the water i'm going to keep it in the medium high again and let it come to a boil once the water starts boiling and then i will put it in the low flame and cover it and cook it so that we will get the fluffy rice okay now here this rice has been on the uh, high medium flame for about 10 minutes okay and now it came to a boil so it's boiling now i am going to put it in the low flame not in the lowest flame just in the low flame and cover it okay let us look at this rice okay all the water is gone okay there is no water and then it looks fluffy so it came out really good so it has been cooked completely and there is no moisture and it is not sticking i let it boil for 10 minutes first and then i put it in the low flame and covered it and it took 25 minutes for me in the low flame to cook okay now i'm going to turn off the stove this is a good way to cook rice so the next method is oven method in this method also we need 2 and 1/2 cups of water for 1 cup of rice it has been soaking in water for about 30 minutes i already preheated my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit now this is going in the oven and we'll check it back after 30 minutes okay now it has been 30 minutes and i just got it from the oven give a stir and i'm going to put it back in the oven it has been 1 hour and i just i just took it from the oven let us see okay i still have a little bit of water still cooking just giving a stir gently so i'm going to put this back and check in 10 minutes again another 10 minutes so um i brought this from the oven let us see okay now all the water is gone and it is cooked actually this looks a little fluffy okay it cooked well so this method is also good but it took me 1 hour 10 minutes for 2 cups of rice it came out good thanks for watching i hope i covered a few methods let me know if it is helpful and we will meet in my next video thank you vj0509 for asking me this recipe thank you